We're coming to the end of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and this year we have two former KPRC employees impacted by aggressive forms of the disease. Both of them are young. Health reporter Haley Hernandez spoke to one in her 30s and one who is just a teenager. She is now live near MD Anderson in the Medical Center with more. Haley? Yeah, guys, so a former reporter, Lindsay Levingston Christian, and a former producer's 19-year-old daughter both spoke to me about their journey and about this disease that really doesn't discriminate on age. When you're 19, this is so much of your identity, but Faith Garmley says this gave her something that cancer stole away, control. I can get up, I can get dressed, I can put my makeup on and start the day and just pretend that I don't have cancer for a minute. Faith's cancer, stage three angiosarcoma, was so aggressive she instantly had to quit school in Florida and move here for treatment a week after diagnosis. There was no time to freeze her eggs and she still may need a mastectomy. So I think I was in a shock for like the first month of just... I was living my regular life and then I find out I have cancer. And during a pandemic, no less. Me, I'm 19, so I'm technically an adult and I can't have my parents with me for a lot of my visits. My first round of chemo, I had to stay in the hospital for five days and I wasn't allowed any visitors at all. MD Anderson Dr. Nita Samaya says her cancer is very rare. To be honest, I haven't seen a breast, primary breast angiosarcoma or any breast angiosarcoma in a teenager. The median age for a primary breast angiosarcoma is a little, you know, kind of in the late 50s. According to the CDC, most breast cancers are found in women older than 50, but black, some Jewish women, and those with a family history are more at risk of being diagnosed younger, like former KPRC reporter Lindsay Livingston Christian, who was only 37 when she got triple negative breast cancer. So it was like, oh, freeze your eggs. Okay, then start chemo. Oh, then do this. Do the it was a very quick process, and it's taken me all of these months to really process and reflect the journey, and it has been a significant one. Now she advises women to know their risk factors and to schedule a genetic test know your family history advocate for mammograms if you're under the age of 40 and you have a family history of breast cancer and or cancer in your family Yeah, because through all of this, Lindsay found out that she is a carrier for the BRCA1 gene. And because that gene poses an added risk for other cancers, on Thursday, Lindsay's having her ovaries removed as well. Now to help other young women facing this diagnosis, she started a organization called Sir Thriver. And Faith is also sharing her journey on social media through Faith for Faith on Facebook. Reporting live from the Medical Center, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Two brave women sharing their stories. Thank you so much for bringing that to us.